Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm not tired anymore. Since the few seconds ago, I've actually had coffee. Just wanted to actually get a video out there. I've been absent quite a bit, and I'm not gonna preface this video with saying probably what I've said a million times by now, which is like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna start doing it again. I'm gonna start making videos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all this. I'm not going to promise that, and don't get me wrong, I love to try, but every time I put it out there and all that, it just, it doesn't happen, so I don't want to promise anything. So, rather than get ready and have this video idea in my head, I decided it would probably just be better that I literally wake up, force myself to start recording a video, and uh, just make it. So I'm in my pajamas right now. Uh, I'm just woke up. I, I've had coffee. I gave myself time to actually like, you know, wake up. But I'm not gonna get anything too prepared. I'm not gonna get uh wait for better lighting. I, I don't really have a ring light or anything like that. I just wanted to do a video talking about movies and I have been wanting to upload and instead of worrying about, oh well, uh, I'll do it here at this time, and I'll do it on this day because this works better. I was like, let's just let's just do it. So um, this is just going to be a little update. I'm going to talk about stuff I picked up. It hasn't been a lot since you've seen me last because I'm um, I think I mentioned it before in a video, but um, moving out. There's we're shooting for probably July, but regardless, um, that means I'm doing my best on saving and or buying furniture ahead of time, which I've been able to do. So not too many, but uh, I have a little like system I'm going through when it comes to my movies and I'll explain that soon. So first up, we got The Mist and um, I've seen it before, like, you know, when I was on the younger side, I remember liking it, but um, yeah, I'll still like it, but I feel like it's definitely going to be one of those movies that you enjoy more when you were younger, and now that I'm older, I'm going to be like, I don't know, do I actually really like this movie, like, as much as I did? I know I'll still want to own it, though, um, for sure. So, The Mist, uh, I think I only paid, like, 11 bucks for this really good deal. And I'm actually going to switch the order of these. <laughs> um, I had one on top of the other, but we'll talk about this one first. The Whale. I loved this movie, and um, I just recently, before this came out, um, got into Darren Aronofsky's films. Eh, films. <laughs> Basically, I watched Requiem for a Dream, loved it. I still want to watch Mother with Jennifer Lawrence, and I know he, ha what else? I think it's Black Swan. Still have to watch those, but um, I really liked Requiem for a Dream, so I was very intrigued by not only that movie, but his his filmmaking in the movie. And I love Brendan Fraser. I think everybody loves Brendan Fraser. So naturally, I was very curious and excited to see what he's gonna bring to this dramatic role, and he brought it. And if you're wondering why this isn't a clear case, I'm currently going through and switching cases to my Blu-rays right now. Um, I'm basically getting rid of those stupid eco cases that nobody likes. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. And uh, switching cases around, right now they're in the mail, and uh, I just switched this to a, a clear case. I was doing the horror movies first, and yeah, it's a, it's a process. But to keep it short, uh, loved it. I think everybody's kind of talked about this movie now at this point, but uh, I had to get it as soon as it came out, and I'm sure A24 will put out a 4K or something of it. We'll see. That being said, the Blu-ray actually looked really good still, so, uh, yeah, um, like I said, everything's been said about this movie already, and, uh, it's great. And now, another Brendan Fraser film, um, I know not many people like this one, I grew up with it, as weird as it sounds, but I liked it, and it's, a uh, Monkey Bone. So, yeah, I, I grew up with this movie, um... It's definitely not for kids, <laughs> but it's so imaginative and out there that I just, I was so into it as a kid. I was really into trippy stuff as a kid. Like, obviously, that's why I liked horror movies and stuff like that. But 
as a kid, I was never attracted to too many cartoons or kids films. I was not a Disney kid. Um, I somewhat watched like shows, um, like cartoons and stuff as a kid. Like I know like Carly was popular and uh, Adventure Time and other stuff. The only show I genuinely remember being into is The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And I'm convinced it was the same reasons I'm into this, where it's just really trippy, weird humor, and um, I guess there's just stuff in it that catches your attention and makes you really go like, what is this? <laughs> if you haven't seen this, it's about this, like he plays an artist, like a cartoon artist, cartoonist, and basically his character, Monkey Bone, gets very popular. He's at a little convention panel type thing, and he, he blows up, he has merchandise everywhere, and on his way leaving the panel, he's kind of annoyed at, like, his character and everything. Like, he's just like, oh, I really didn't want to be, like, this famous or known for this. And on his way out, he gets into a car wreck and goes into a coma. While he's in the coma, he's trapped in a place called Downtown, I believe. It's been, I've literally, I haven't seen this since I was younger. And he's stuck with his character and I want to say like his other like characters he kind of created in his head but I I'm not positive it might just be I don't know it, it's basically eccentric characters and um he he's kind of trapped in there while he's in a coma so it's it's entertaining it's trippy it's weird it's not a good movie but I I don't think you're going in expecting a high art film you know what I mean Anyways, I got this right after seeing The Whale, and uh, this is the 101 Films release from the UK, and it says Region B. It plays fine on my player, and I don't have a, a region free player, so I, I would assume you guys are okay to buy this and not have to worry about region coding, which is nice. Next up is a 4K, and I just got it, and um, some of you might judge me hard for this and no not because of what the movie is but because of why i bought it <laughs> so love it dario argento i've seen it before love it it's the standard edition just over yonder <laughs> i have the box set that came out with like the poster and the book and all this all this other stuff and i switched it to this purely to save space i bought this with this case and everything to save space. I've never been too much of a like, well, I guess I was at one point, into like box sets and steel books. I, I was really into them at one point, but I have this thing about uniformity in my collection and like, you know, and this fits and doesn't have to be fully uniform. Like I have the Dawn of the Dead 4K set from Second Sight and obviously that's a big box set too, but I just, I wanted more space and I was thinking about it. I was like, I really don't need this and I guess I could have just stored away the other stuff but like the other case was just clear this was a regular 4k case which I prefer and on the bright side I'm able to sell that one and uh like basically make my money back because I know right now it's on eBay for about 60 brand new and that one's opened used but it's it's good so I should be able to make at least the 30 bucks back I got from this or even 40 we'll we'll see so didn't really talk that much about Phenomena. Um, it's an older horror film. It's great. I love it. This one, um, probably won't talk much about either, but everybody loves this movie. Coraline. Saw it when I was a kid. Just recently watched it again with family. And uh, it's amazing. We all know that. We all know Coraline's amazing. So next up, Buffalo 66. This movie I really, really like. Saw it probably, I want to say, like a year ago for the first time. Actually, my father-in-law is the one who uh, let me borrow it. He had the DVD of it and um, really, really loved it, man. It was, it's one of the most narcissistic films you will ever see, but you weirdly enjoy it. That's the best way I can describe it. You're like, you're falling victim to its own narcissism. It's also shot in a very interesting way. This came out in 1998. Um, it's just, that's Vincent Gallo right there. He's the, the main character and he wrote and directed the movie as well. And he did this really interesting technique 
where he took an old 70s camera, I don't know the exact name of it, and uh, he, he shot with that, and it looks exactly like it came out in the 70s, and I mean, like, it, I almost thought it did, and I'm like, no, Christina Ritchie's in this, like, what, what, that doesn't make sense, and um, found that out after the fact, after watching it, that he did that. It's very, it's artistic, it's kind of a, I guess, this would fall under indie movie, and it's, it's good, it's, it's, again, it's self-indulgent, though, um, not to mention Vincent Gallo's, like, you know, he's not the best person, he's not, he's not the best person, you know, <laughs> we'll just say that, um, but sometimes you gotta separate art from the artist, and then, again, any film that can make me want to see what this guy's like story is gonna be and like just to just to put it out there he kidnapped someone he's not a good person he's violent he's somewhat abusive in general and i'm still watching the movie and like interested and invested in him as a character and if you can do that i think that's you got something you know what i mean so if you haven't seen this i recommend it just keep in mind it is one of the most narcissistic films you will ever see but you will indulge yourself in said narcissism. And now the next and last two movies. Um, I should probably do it like this. Scary movie, uno and dos. So we'll talk about number one. Um, I think everybody's seen this by now. It's kind of just a comedy from the 90s. 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 It's good. I think the Wayans brothers definitely had a hold on these movies. At the end of the day, they're cheap parody movies, but they're enjoyable. And at the time this came out, I think it was very, it was, it was just really good timing, especially right after Scream. They knocked it out of the park. Everyone, you've seen this, you know you like it. Or maybe you hate it, but you know what this movie is. Next one, I haven't seen this one in forever. Uh, look how thin that plastic is. I thought it was a hair. Next one, Scary Movie 2. Um, I haven't seen this one in a really long time, though, so uh, definitely gonna have to rewatch. And I didn't get uh, 3 or 4. Um, 4 is basically self-explanatory. 3 I actually do enjoy, but I just, I don't need them. If, I, if I'm gonna need any Scary Movies, Scary Movie movies in my collection, it's gonna be the first two. So this one's pretty good too. Uh, kind of feels very, very similar to the first one. Not story-wise, but like everything going on in it just falls in line with the first one. Definitely the Wayans Brothers, but good. Everyone knows this. So uh, uh, yeah, that was all I've picked up. That's a little update of the movies. So there's the stack right there. Um, yeah, great. Uh, Great little update there. Um, I'm happy to actually own all these. It's not a bunch of blind buys, you know? Like I said, I'm not gonna promise anything new, but I figured a little update would be nice uh, just to do something. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. So I'm on my bed right now. Uh, those are all slip covers. Ah, I don't wanna hear it. I know, I know. Anyways, these are all movies that I'm gonna keep. It's just, I'm getting them out of eco cases. Out of, like I'm getting them all uh, basically just more uniform. Everything on this side is all stuff I want slash have to watch, um, or rewatch. There's stuff I just haven't seen in a while. So, since many people were curious about, uh, why there's no collection video, uh, that's why right now. Trust me, I, I'm gonna do a collection video eventually, it's just I'm getting stuff in order. Um, but you know what, if you see this, those who asked for it um comment down if you don't mind and i'll just show what i have not on these shelves that i've already gone through and we'll just we'll do that and not count what's on these shelves so thank you guys for watching and uh if you're curious what that is that's actually a display from my work is it gonna do the thing oh yeah there you go there you go I just have it hanging right now. Like I said, process of moving. A lot of stuff is packed up in boxes and bins right now. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I'll see you in another video. Uh, let's hope it's soon. Bye-bye.